So first of all, how do you get started? The first program that we're going to discuss is called Introduction to Bioinformatics. So if you have minimal background with bioinformatics, you don't really have any experience. Maybe you have read and you have heard and you're interested in it, but you don't really have any practical experience. This is the best place to start. Now you will be able to register for multiple programs. For example, you can take Introduction to Bioinformatics first, and then once you complete it, you can go on to the more advanced programs. Those advanced programs could include all three of the other programs, genomics, metagenomics, or data science. But first, for those that don't have any background, we recommend getting started with this introductory program. Now, this introductory program includes several modules, and these are Introduction to Bioinformatics, Bytes and Molecules, Bioinformatics in R, and Bioinformatics in Python. So this will really orient you with some terminology and some basic skills for you to get started. It is typically something that you can complete in about a month's time. So that's why we're offering for those that complete Introduction to Bioinformatics to continue on to the more advanced programs. As soon as you have registered, you will already have access to all of these materials. Some of them are completely free, and some of them will have some free modules that you can just test and see if that's something that you would like to do. So these are found, and again, I'll just quickly switch here to the portal. Um, once you're logged in, sorry. So once you're logged in, for example, this is my profile. You can see here information about myself. And then if I click right here on courses, I can scroll or search, or right here, you will see getting started. So if you click on getting started, you will see these modules that I was just showing on the screen. Introduction to bioinformatics, bytes and molecules, bioinformatics in R, and bioinformatics in Python. So these are some of the starting materials that we will cover. Now, beyond that, what we will do in the program is we will use these basic modules to see the applications of bioinformatics to learn about the terminology that is commonly used with bioinformatics methods. We're going to do a little introduction to coding with Python and R, just so that you're aware of what goes into some of these methods of analysis. And then we will provide you with access to some introductory projects. So these projects are going to show you how people that have used bioinformatics in a variety of domains, like infectious diseases, oncology, and others have been able to use the, method, the methods that we cover in these programs to achieve research results. So what actually went in there. So the way you can find those is, first of all, there's the search field. You can search, for example, for Ebola, or you can look over here on tags, and these tags include some typical types of materials that you will find. And down here, we have organized them into these uh, sections, sections for getting started, sections in R, sections in Python, projects, et cetera. So the one we just discussed was getting started, which is right here. Now, beyond that, once you are getting comfortable with how things are organized and you understand how to navigate the site, you'll be able to find a lot of additional materials that you can just try and do on your own asynchronously. So let's talk briefly about this uh, uh, Omnix Logic programs in general first, and then we'll jump into introduction to bioinformatics. So as a part of this initiative, we have collected materials from a variety of researchers that address these specific types of applications of bioinformatics. So first of all, introduction, a general overview of bioinformatics, genomics, transcriptomics, metagenomics, epigenomics, and data science. These will be offered throughout the year, including in the summer, a specific program around a research fellowship. And this research fellowship will provide you with an opportunity to work on an independent project. So the idea here is to provide training with basic skills, and then to offer a variety of applications, including oncology, uh, infectious diseases, neuroscience, agriculture, biotechnology, and others. So what typically goes into a training program like this 
are a, a collection of resources that we will be providing uh, for those that participate. So first of all, you will have access to the training materials. Those training materials will be completely asynchronous. You will be able to find them on this portal, but you will also have a program page that will organize these materials into a sequence. Once you complete each one of those, you will also be sent a video that you can watch that explains how the different elements of this program are combined together. You will also have access to a big data analysis platform that you can use to analyze public domain data. And some of those public domain data sets are going to be explained in the materials that you will be provided. You will also find elements of code that you can get started with to apply what you have learned in R and Python and some explanations on how to do that. So what does the syntax mean? What does it do? Some examples that you can try right in the browser and an explanation of how you can take that and use it on your own system. Now, the previous programs that we have run, uh, we try to address the needs of those that want to learn about, but also apply what they have learned to their current research and to uh, projects, sometimes citizen science projects, sometimes research projects. And we have quite a number of people that were successful at completing the program and learning about how to apply these methods in their uh, uh, research uh, that they were a part of. So what we um, want to cover in this first program, the introduction to bioinformatics, is to provide a general overview to those that don't have a lot of experience already with bioinformatics. So this will include bioinformatics and big data, how big data and the need for computational technologies is changing bioinformatics, including an introduction to a variety of omics types of data, and then to methods of analysis, the basic statistical analysis, as well as machine learning for a variety of these types of omics data. We will touch on the scripting aspect, but that will really be minimal. It's not intended to be uh, in-depth about any one particular language or application. It's really to provide you with a sense of what bioinformatics is and how to apply it in a general theoretical sense. And so hopefully this is something that anyone with any background can participate in and benefit from just learning about the terminology. So the three main things that we will cover are informatics, statistics, and biology. And so what that means is that we will talk a little bit about what kinds of information technologies, uh, what kinds of statistical and analytical methods, and what kinds of applications of informatics are important to understand and, and how that is changing different fields where bioinformatics is used. So primarily we will try to talk about this from the perspective of uh, biology and data. So how does data describe biology and how can we study biological phenomena using different types of data that provide us with this detailed view of what's going on. But we will also talk about the applications of bioinformatics in clinical, and uh, different industry projects as well, specifically in biomedical application to diagnostics and selection of therapeutics or discovery of therapeutics and things like that. Now, we um, will cover several different types of omics, including genomics, epigenomics, and transcriptomics, but very uh, superficially. So there won't be any in-depth in explanation in this particular introduction to bioinformatics program. It is just going to provide you with the sense of what does this data describe and what does this data look like? To understand what it looks like, we're going to also cover several publicly available data repositories where you can explore projects that have been submitted by uh, researchers across many different types of labs. And you will be able to find a variety of different project examples that are typically associated with a publication. So hopefully you will find some relevance to whatever field you're involved in. Now, as I mentioned, one of the challenges in bioinformatics is being able to not only learn about bioinformatics, but practically experience what bioinformatics can do for you. And so to introduce you to different methods of analysis of bioinformatics, we have a platform called the T-Bioinfo platform that is color-coded 
with explained methods that allows for a variety of inputs and outputs and really will provide you with a guided process to understand the logic of bioinformatics. So for those that are getting started, this is the best way to go from general understanding to practical application quickly, right? And hopefully that also reinforces the logic of why am I doing what I'm doing and what am I expecting to get out of this uh, process that we call a pipeline or a workflow. So to summarize, the introduction to bioinformatics program is going to explain how big data is used in bioinformatics or biomedical research. We will talk briefly about, oh, sorry, we will talk briefly about the applications of bioinformatics. There we go. Different types of technologies and some concepts of data science that are going to be useful as you continue to explore what bioinformatics can offer. And so to see a detailed curriculum, you can find the detailed curriculum on this landing page. And so um, I'll just show you this landing page and I'll paste the link here as well. So you can find this information right here on this link. So if you scroll down, you will find here the full syllabus. So if you have any questions about the syllabus and what it includes, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. But this is uh, the full overview of the program. Again, it's fairly short, but it's going to be uh, good for those that are just getting started with bioinformatics. So this program, we ran it um, in the previous semester as well. We have quite a number of people, of students, including graduate and undergraduate students that have completed this program. And it really um, can take a biologist, somebody that knows nothing about bioinformatics and help them understand why they should learn this or how to apply it. And at least will be useful to read some papers that include bioinformatics, or if you're going to submit a grant and you're going to incorporate bioinformatics, will provide you with better terminology to interact with your uh, bioinformatics core and kind of let them understand what exactly you're trying to do. So the other programs, again, these were beginner programs. The other programs that we're going to talk about are project oriented. So project oriented means that we're expecting those that have completed the other type of training, not the introduction to bioinformatics program, but genomics, metagenomics and data science to be able to submit, uh, to learn skills that will allow them to produce a project of their own. And that's really the best validation that you're able to apply what you have learned. And we hope that you can do it in a fairly short time. So to do that, part of this omics logic portal is an opportunity to, uh, once you complete your profile, to be able to submit a project right on the Learn portal um, and uh, apply what you have learned in this training to a data set describing everything that there was to um, that, that you did and really focusing on reproducible research. So as you complete your profile and you learn by acquiring points by completing different coursework, then you will be able to submit this uh, project that we um, that I will explain in a second, but that, that's the major differentiation between what we call a basic program and an advanced program. So the advanced programs are really oriented for those that want to use this 